Hello and welcome to episode 1 of 4 Stop Concasts, Dynamic Styling with Formula Fields. So today we're going to talk about using formula fields to drive CSS on Visual Force pages to help us change the style of the page uh, dynamically depending upon a field value. So um, quite often I've got lists of uh, records or uh, tables or data tables that I've got on a page and I want to either style a particular cell or row or column or just a particular item in a list um, using uh, a value off of one of the fields or a set of values. Now I can do this using uh, an if statement on the page, um, which is one way of doing it. I could have a bit of logic in the controller that returns a boolean if I want to in a, in a wrapper class. But I like to remove as much logic from the page and from code as possible. Uh, and where possible, I want to really use clicks to make this uh, simple to do and not have to write everything in code. Um, one of the other things is that quite often when I find myself doing these things, I know that they'll change in the future. So what might be a red, amber, green uh, series of thresholds now might have the thresholds change so that the, yeah, the levels change just as uh, the company moves forward and the system adapts to the circumstances. So um, going forward, I want to make this an administration task. I don't want to have to kind of go in and change the code every time that someone wants to reset the value. Um, and so by having no code in, in the system to do this or by removing reducing the amount of code, it makes it easier to maintain and allows an administrator to do it. So what I've got here is a simple page um, and all this does is it produces a non-ordered list um, and it's just got an apex repeat tag and an output text where it outputs uh, the name of an account and a field which is called percentage of opportunities one. So I'll show you that in a minute and uh, describe in a bit more detail what that uh, presents. But this is a really simple page. Um, I've tried to make the page as simple as possible to show you the uh, process and show you the kind of tip here so that you can apply it uh, much more easily in different scenarios um, so there's not a lot of other stuff going on. Um, the controller is very very simple as well all it does is it selects all the accounts in the system, gets the name and the percentage of opportunities one, puts it in a variable for us to access and that's it. I've got these three styles up here as well the red, amber and green style which I'll go through and discuss in a minute. But to prove that the page is working for us all I'm going to do go here and I'll refresh the page and you can see it just brings up a list of all the accounts of the system and the percentage of opportunities that have been won for them. So I can check that, so Gene Point for example here that has 67% of the opportunities won when we refresh the page there, nice and simple to see. And uh, all I've done is I've added um, a roll up summary field here called Total Opportunities which adds which just counts the number of opportunities, so we can see here we've got three. I've got total opportunities one here, which counts the number uh, where the stage is equal to closed one. And I've got a formula form, uh, formula field here that returns a percentage, which is just uh, the total number one divided by the total number. And if we have a look here in the system, we can see all those. Um, and a quick thing to note that I've added on as well is that in the formula field, there's just a quick little if statement here to say that if there is no opportunities, then I'm just going to return zero as the number of opportunities one. Um, otherwise, I get a divide by zero error, and that's not not very pretty to see. It doesn't help the system work. So that's what we've got. Now, what I want to do is based upon the percentage of opportunities that have been won, I want to either color my uh, list item as red, amber, or green. So as I said before, I can go in and I can write an if statement in line to do that. Um, and that would just make it so that uh, it would change the style as we went. But that's really not too useful for an, uh, an administrator to update when the thresholds change. They've got to go in and change the code. Um, in a sandbox, you'd have to redeploy that. Um, if you'd have to redeploy it from a sandbox to a production environment. Um, it just becomes a bit more difficult to do. What I can do instead, however, is I'm going to create a new field called style class, uh, which is going to be controlling the style class. Um, and I'll just create a formula field here. Now I'm calling this one style class because I'm using it explicitly uh, for the purposes of styling my uh, page. However, what's a really nice piece of functionality around this is that if you want to, you could call this uh, red, amber, green 
status color or rag color, and it will just return the string value for you to use. You can also use this formula to uh, output the color and then use it in another formula to return um, a little color block for you if you want to have an indicator for reporting. So I'm going to write a little statement here that says if, and we're going to insert the correct field. So if the percentage of opportunities one is less than or equal to 0.33. So because we're using a percentage formula field, it returns as a decimal. I've set it to be uh, to 0 dp on the uh, actual uh, percentage returns. That's to two decimal places when it converts it back to a decimal. Um, so if it's less than 33% of opportunities one, uh, I'm going to return red. Otherwise, if the, um, we'll just copy this to make it easier. If the percentage of opportunities one is less than or equal to 66, so less than two, less than or equal to two thirds have been one, we're going to return an amber. Otherwise, we're winning more than two thirds, so it's going to be green. So I can check our syntax quickly. <coughs> you can see we've got no errors here. And treat blank fields as zeros just in case we get any. Hit next, and you can set up permissions as needed. We're not going to add this onto the page. Normally, we wouldn't add this onto the page layout. I'm going to add it on here now just so I can show it working. Um, often with formula fields that are used in the background, it's really good to put them on the page layout just to show them for your own debugging purposes. And if we go on to gene point now and refresh, see here we've got a new field called style class, which in this case is green, as we've won more than 67% of the opportunities. So that's really good. It's perfect. So what we can do now is go back in, uh, is what we'll do first is copy the field name. So what we do is we copy style class. We go back into our code, and what we can do is you can see here that the styles I've added just uh, set the color of the text to be red, amber, or green. I've put these on the list item uh, as well. Normally, all of the styles will be put into a separate CSS file. They'd be stored as a static resource for you know all the simple purposes of not repeating yourself and making it easy. But for now, and for the purposes of this uh, uh, demonstration, we're going to just use it as such. So it's going to be the accounts style class. And it's very important to make sure as well we put that into the controller. So we retrieve that value. So we save the controller. So by putting all the logic for this within the formula field, it makes it really easy for us to update the threshold. So say our red, amber, and green thresholds change in the future, we don't need to get a developer involved. We can simply have an administrator go in and tweak the thresholds in the formula field, which is something that they'll be more than happy to do. So just save the page as well. Once that's all saved up, we have all the information we need. So if we go back to our page now and refresh it, You can see here that it's over 67, so that's green, the ones on zero are red, and all the other values are updated as they should be. So it's fantastic. Now, that's really useful. And what we can do is we can show that if we want to update the values in the formula, we can change the styling. So if I edit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, it's been a couple of years. We've been doing really well. So rather than it just being those accounts we've closed less than uh, or equal to 66%, it's those we've closed less than or equal to 75%. So I'm going to hit save here. It's updated the formula. In the background, the formula field will be updated. All the values get recalculated when I read them now. And you can see here that edge communications has changed. Gene point has changed. 
and University of Arizona has changed. So that's a really easy way for you to control some of the styling on your pages using a formula field that doesn't require um, a developer to go in and edit it going forward. And this can be used anywhere on your system. Uh, makes it really simple and easy when you're using records to just add a style tag to it. So say if you want to, mine was just called style class just to make it you know, very clear and obvious what I'm using it for. There's nothing to stop you using it for doing some reporting as well. So you can have uh, grouping by red, amber or green if you wanted to and different values like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this tip. If you have any feedback, please leave a comment or contact me at force.comcast or at ppatterson. Thank you very much.